हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो ऑफ वर्सेटाइल नॉलेज आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग फाइन एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वॉट आर द फर्स्ट फ्यू थिंग्स दैट यू हैव टू डू वेन यू आर सेटिंग अप द लैपटॉप दैट इज द लैपटॉप दैट आई एम टॉकिंग इन स्पेसिफिक इज द एसूस टफ डैश एफ फिफ्टीन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू मॉडल इन द लास्ट वीडियो हैड डन द अनबॉक्सिंग एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द फर्स्ट फ्यू थिंग्स and right away starting and the first thing that you have to do is to go ahead and reset the system yes that is a very important thing before you go ahead and set up and start using the laptop guys that is when you buy a new laptop either from your local offline store or from an online platform first thing that you have to do is to go ahead and reset the laptop what happens is there will be a lot of uh, you know bloatware and lot of unnecessary services and unnecessary apps will be present which you will not be knowing whether the application or any service which is installed without your notice is consuming the battery or cpu process or storage on your computer which might be unnecessary for the system hence it is very important to reset the entire computer before you start customizing the laptop for your usage and this entire process will take around 1 to 2 hours but this is necessary as it will help in cleaning up any junk which might be pre installed on your computer so guys the second important thing that you have to do on your laptop after buying it is to set up the microsoft account this will help in syncing your settings and other things that you have sent to your microsoft account like your passwords your browsing data your home screen settings or any other customizations linked with your microsoft account previously will be downloaded and synced to your new laptop and also microsoft helps in connecting with your favorite applications like microsoft word microsoft excel and other microsoft related tools and also helps in securing your laptop with the help of microsoft defenders privacy and security options as well so guys the third important thing that i do personally is to set up the dark mode on my systems i set up dark mode on all my laptops and all my desktops and my mobile phones or tablet or wherever dark mode is possible even on the browsers because it is easy on the eyes and let's say you have an amoled display or something it will help in saving battery as well and hence i set up the dark mode on this system also so this is the next important thing so guys the fourth thing that i'll be doing on my laptop is to uninstall the applications that are not needed for my regular usage there are a lot of apps on this system which are pre installed like the microsoft to do list Xbox Game Center and so many apps which are installed by Asus which I don't need on a regular basis for my daily usage which will be simply consuming space on my system and these are the apps which we call it as bloatwares so i will be uninstalling them right before we start using this system there are apps like mcafee which i don't use guys i also got mcafee's one year free plan with this laptop which i don't necessarily use at all because i believe microsoft defender is strong enough to defend against daily threats and regular malwares or something that might be attacking the system so i don't use that third party uh, you know security tools also sometimes it even slows down the system as well hence i uninstall all these bloatwares before i go ahead and start using my system and once i'm done with that i just go ahead and restart the system for everything to be set up clean So guys the next important thing that we have to do is the display related settings if you go to the system in the display related settings there are a few important settings like adjusting the brightness of your system or keeping the automatic brightness or setting up night light when the sunset happens which will help in saving your eyes and there are options which are you know custom to certain laptops like on this laptop it is having a high refresh rate display so if you go to high refresh rate display in the advanced display options there you can set the display settings from 60 hertz to 144 hertz so these are the certain display settings that i do i actually set up the display to the highest resolution possible and the highest refresh rate possible to maximize the potential of this laptop so this is the next thing that i do and going over to the next important thing that i do is to download my favorite browser that is the google chrome web browser 
I never use Microsoft Edge guys and also I never use Safari on my Mac system as well because I've kind of gotten adjusted to you know Google Chrome browser over the last almost 10-12 years of usage and I can't switch to any other browser despite of the fact that Google Chrome is an extremely heavy browser and it consumes almost 12 GB of memory even on a 16 GB laptop I don't care I love Google Chrome browser and I use Microsoft Edge just to install Google Chrome browser for the first time and the next thing is I install the usual applications like CCleaner and other apps like VLC Media Player which is very important for my daily usage. Although a lot of people tell that CCleaner doesn't do anything. For me why CCleaner is important is because I can get a lot of options like clearing the recycle bin, you know, deleting the Google Chrome's web history or any other browser's web history or, you know, deleting the registries, uh, cache or many other junk that is present on the system, everything in one place. So that is the only reason that I use CCleaner. I also know that CCleaner, uh, you know, has been uh, under the case that they were selling data to other third party providers and a lot of issues were happening. but. I am using CCleaner from a longer period of time, so I like it. And another important application that I install is DaVinci Resolve to edit all my videos on my Windows system and on my Mac system, I use iMovie and the usual set of applications I install guys. So guys, the next thing that I do is to download the rich, high quality, high resolution wallpapers for my system. For that, I just go to Google Chrome browser and type 8K wallpapers for PC. And there I go to websites like Unsplash or Pixels or any other, you know, royalty free websites where I can download high resolution wallpapers in their original sizes. I almost try to download in the highest resolution possible like 8K or something. Then I manually set those wallpapers on my system. And the same process I actually do on my mobile phones also guys. I just download the 4K wallpapers for mobile or 8K wallpapers for mobile or something like that from browser and then set those wallpapers which gives a richer quality of the wallpapers rather than what is available on the system by default. And the next thing that we have to do is to do the Armory Crate's battery settings. So this is the Asus Armory Crate application which is a customization application which is provided by Asus by default which helps helps in customizing the battery life and the performance of our laptop. The app similar to Asus Armory Crate will be actually present in other gaming laptops also. If you are using a gaming laptop, you can use that laptop or that brand's specific customization app to do all those settings. Now coming over to Asus Armory Crate, what I have observed in my last couple of months of using this laptop is that the battery life is best when the laptop is set to silent mode with optimized GPU usage. If you want to have the best performance on this laptop, then the turbo mode is the one you will have to be using. And in turbo mode, what happens is the power of Core i7 and the RTX 3050's entire potential can be unleashed. But the turbo mode will only be unleashed when you are using the dedicated 180 watt charger that Asus has provided. If you remove the original charger or try to use a USB Type-C based charger, the turbo mode will not be available. The maximum mode that is available in battery or when you are using a USB Type-C charger is the performance mode. And in performance mode, you can set the GPU to the highest levels using the performance mode. What happens is the battery life dips to a maximum of 3 hours if you are using performance mode and uh, you are setting the uh, GPU mode to the ultimate setting. But if you want to extract the highest capacity or highest capable battery life out of this laptop, then you will have to set the laptop to silent mode and optimize GPU usage. The laptop takes at least a week or so to get adjusted to your usage and starts giving the best battery life. In my last couple of months of usage, I am getting anywhere between 5 to 6 hours of usage, which is really good for the laptop of this range. The next thing that I do on this laptop is to go ahead on to the personalization options and to enable our favorite icon on desktop that is the my computer or this PC. And along with that, there are a few more icons that I enable like the recycle bin. You can actually enable this when you click on right click on the desktop and go to personalization and in personalization there is an option in the related settings called desktop icon settings. When you click on the desktop icon settings you can find this PC, control panel, recycle bin and other things and once that is enabled you have to click on apply. When I come to the desktop I just click on arrange by name and that is what I do and it looks clean and it looks easily accessible for me for my daily usage. So guys the next important thing that I do on this laptop is to set default apps for several different purposes like for the browser I always prefer using Google Chrome web browser 
so for browsing purposes i will go ahead and set google chrome as my web browser as default so i'll go ahead and click set default similarly for other purposes on the computer i will set the default apps like for opening email i will have to open the google chrome browser for opening pdfs i will open the adobe pdf reader or adobe acrobat reader for opening other video files i will want to open the vlc media player and there are several other purposes or several other extensions or file formats which i go ahead and select the default apps so guys the next important thing that you can do is to use the windows hello settings to set up the fingerprint authentication or facial recognition or security steps for your system on my computer there is no windows hello support or there is no facial recognition or fingerprint recognition that is present on my system but if you have a system which has fingerprint based unlock and facial based unlock you can go ahead and set up in this place on your settings application so guys the next thing that you have to do is to go to the display settings and in the display settings you can turn on the hdr video streaming on your device so my laptop actually supports hdr video streaming on online platforms like netflix and amazon prime video and it actually supports video streaming on their default apps which you can download on the microsoft stores in order to enable hdr you have to come to this setting which is system display hdr and in that hdr you have to enable the hdr and actually optimize the battery options for image quality then what happens is even though you are not connected with the default charger the hdr video streaming will be available on the platforms that you are using so guys the next important thing that we have to do after buying this laptop is to go ahead and customize the dolby atmos for the earphones so this laptop actually supports dolby atmos on earphones it is boldly mentioned via a sticker on the laptop itself so there is an application on the system called dolby access which works with earphones when you are plugged in and there are a lot of options in the settings of this app where you can set the different uh, presets different sound profiles different audio profiles with the help of these settings you can actually customize the quality of sound output that you can get through earphones on this specific laptop so guys the next important thing that you have to do if you are using google chrome is to enable advanced protection mode in the privacy and security section of google chrome which helps in protecting your online privacy to an extent and the next thing that you have to do is to use this my asus application and go ahead and register your product for the warranty purposes you have to just enter the serial number of the laptop and there will be an otp that is sent to your registered mobile number and the laptop will be registered for its warranty So guys the next thing that you can do is to arrange the start menu as per your preferences on a daily basis i need certain apps which i will pin it here and unpin the apps which i don't need on a regular basis and also i will uninstall certain apps which i don't use and also i don't want to see the recent files in this tab so i will disable that also i do all these basic cleanup processes to make sure that the start menu has only the apps which is useful for my productivity the next thing i set up is the privacy settings on the device here i disable the location because i use this laptop in my office at all the times i do not travel with it anywhere else i also disable the data that this laptop collects and sends to microsoft i also adjust and customize a few more settings which are related to privacy on the laptop the next important thing that you have to do is to change the power options Like when I close the lid I don't want the laptop to go to sleep when I press the power button I do not want the laptop to shut down and I want the hibernate options in my power menu and a few more settings related to power I want to do which I adjust in this place and click save the next thing to do probably a very important thing that i do is to set up the local disks you can perform this actions by going to the disk management dashboard here you can shrink format and create new volumes and allocate certain volumes to the respective local disks name the volumes and start using them i keep personal and office related things separate hence i create separate volumes on my laptop 
So guys, the next important thing that I do is to disable all the apps on startup. I do not want any apps to automatically open. If I need them, I will only open it. Apps such as CCleaner, MuTorrent and many others will have a permission to auto start which delays the boot time and also slows down your system. Hence, I disable the apps on startup. And also time and again, I keep shutting down the apps in the background which saves memory and keeps the laptop always faster. So that is pretty much it guys. These are the few things that I do after buying the laptop and start using it for the first time. If you guys have liked this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, comment on this video on what you feel and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.